Introducing the 13 amp 1700 PSI electric pressure washer from Greenworks Tools. With a powerful universal motor, clean any stain with a water flow of 1.2 gallons per minute at 1700 pounds per square inch of pressure. Easily switch between the 25 degree and 40 degree nozzles with the quick connect functionality. The unit can be operated in either the vertical or horizontal positions. The 35-foot electric cable and 20-foot hose enable you to move freely while cleaning. Fill the detergent tank with soap formulated for pressure washers to wash away tough stains and dirt. Built with onboard storage features like the rotating hose reel and pressure gun holster, easily pack up the pressure washer after use. At less than 18 pounds, transporting and moving the unit is easy. With a one-year warranty, the 13 amp 1700 PSI electric pressure washer from Greenworks Tools promises to deliver where and when it counts. Greenworks Tools. Life gets easier.
Welcome to Sun Joe's SPX 3000. With over 3,500 five-star reviews and counting, this is America's number one best-selling pressure washer. Clean smarter, not harder, with up to 2,030 PSI. That's enough power to clean any surface around your home. And while you're cleaning, you're only using 1.76 gallons of water per minute. That means you're cleaning more while using less water. This gas-free, eco-friendly, powerful universal motor is packed with 1,800 watts. And the 14.5 amp electric motor builds pressure so quickly that as soon as you hit that trigger, you are cleaning. No fumes, no fuss, no mess, and no stress. Our Sunjo is equipped with dual detergent tanks. Our dual 0.9 liter tanks allow you to store two different types of detergent. How's that for convenience? You want to power wash the house? Wash your car? Why choose? You can do both with just the simple turn of a dial. Most pressure washer pumps run continuously when the unit is on, doomed to suffer an early end. That's why Sunjo's exclusive total stop system is so critical. It automatically shuts off the pump and power when the trigger is not engaged, thereby saving energy, prolonging pump life, and extending the life of your valuable investment. Every SPX 3000 comes equipped with five quick connect spray tips, zero degrees, 15 degrees, 25 degrees, 40 degrees, and soap. Tackle light, medium, and heavy-duty cleaning tasks, from a punishing pinpoint jet to a powerful fan spray. You name it, you aim it, and grime is gone. Those aren't just words. It's a commitment to clean with a full two years of worry-free performance, season after season. Plus, the SPX 3000 is backed by Sunjo's incredible 30-day, no-questions-asked, money-back guarantee. If you're not convinced that the SPX 3000 is the best pressure washer you've ever used, simply return it for a full refund. This technology circulates water around the motor, which lowers the operating temperatures. It also improves performance and prolongs motor life by up to five times. All right, so this is gonna be a review of the Simpson uh, 3200 series uh, pressure washer. Uh, I purchased it off of Amazon. Obviously, if you're watching this video review, you've scrolled down through and shown interest in it. Um, as it comes in the box, it's very well packaged. Um, essentially, all you have to do once you get it is attach the handle with this bolt here, and they're easy to screw on, and the other bolt there. Attach your lines. Um, put your siphon hose for your soap into the bottom there. and fill it with oil. It's very well labeled as far as putting the oil in it. Um, they ship it with little to no oil in it and then they ship you this package of oil. I um, hope you can see that clearly. It comes in the box with it. There's numerous stickers all over the box that if you forget to put the oil in it, you have essentially just not paid attention whatsoever. Uh, it also may smell a little bit like gas. I've read some reviews where people stated that they didn't smell gas, so they assumed that it wasn't tested. Mine had a gas odor in it, but there was no gas in it. I have not started this thing yet. Essentially, all I have done is hooked it to water, and I've primed it. Um, if you're not familiar with pressure washers, once you hook them with water before you start them, you need to run all the air out of it. And I'm hoping that I got all the air out of it at this point in time. Um, a couple additions that I made here to it before I ever even got it was I purchased this three foot section of hose which I'll link in my uh, review. Um, it just makes it a lot easier to hook your hose to. Um, I plan on zip tying this up here somewhere so that it doesn't put any stress on there if I pull on the hose or get too far away from the house. Um, another addition is I added a 50 foot section of the Simpsons power washer hose 
in addition to the 25 feet that comes with it. 25 feet sounds like a lot, but your average pickup truck with a double cab and a full length bed is just around 20 feet. So my truck is probably just shy of 20 feet long. So 25 feet, you're gonna have to scoot the pressure washer around it. You're not gonna be able to get the whole thing if that's what you're doing. Or if you're pressure washing a house, you're gonna be moving it every 10 feet that you try and pressure wash. So it's way more convenient to spend the extra 45 or $50 and get that extra 50 foot. Uh, they make it in 75 and 100 feet sections that I saw, and I think there's more than that as well. Um, so like I said, I have yet to start it. So I'm gonna turn it on, pull the choke out, and we're gonna let this thing rip and see hope. Hopefully it starts for me. Okay. And it did say in the instructions to move the choke in and out a couple times once you get it running. Once I get this thing started, you're not gonna be able to hear me. I'm gonna put the 25% or a 25 degree tip in it. I'm gonna power wash my truck a little bit. Then I'm gonna put the soap tip on it and put this line into the, the soap there and see how well it drafts and apply some soap as well. And then that'll probably be the end of the video. over here away from this thing a little bit and hopefully you can hear me uh, make sure these are seated down in there good I've seen these go flying across the way and get lost so point them at something and I believe I caught an air pocket there uh, because I didn't prime the system good enough. So, bleed it off a little bit. And hopefully it re-catches prime. This is definitely air in the line. I've seen this before. Usually all you can do is kind of just keep going until it picks up back up on pressure. getting back to pressure now yeah I had a lot of air in the line you got to make sure you bleed that out really good pressure uh, for the 25 degree tip Ice around. So now that you can hear me again, pretty good pressure with the 25 degree tip. 
Um, if I needed more pressure, obviously I'd skip down to the 15 to really cut the dirt off. Um, right now I'm gonna put the black tip in, which is for the soap. The way these work, there's not an on off switch for the soap dispenser, essentially what it is is when the water's flowing through it fast enough, it creates a draft and then ultimately puts soap in the line. Now that I have 75 feet of line on here, it's probably gonna take a little while for that soap to get to where it's going. And that's also saying that this stays down in there and this is not a ample setup here. So we're gonna do what we can with what we got. So another thing is when you turn this off after pressure washing and restart it, you need to bleed that pressure off Otherwise, you're not going to be able to start it. There's gonna be so much tension on the engine, it's not gonna start well for you. Actually, you're not gonna be able to start it at all. Um, something that I was talking about when I started pressure washing was make sure that tip's in there really secure, maybe point it into like a, something that if it does come out of there at a high rate of speed, it's not gonna hurt anybody, and also you're not gonna lose it because it'll send it and you'll never find it again. So now that this tips in, now that the soap's hooked up, <clears throat> we'll try and use the suds feature. Um, like I said, it's gonna take a while for this to get around here, so let's get her going. gets off to the truck so let's kind of see wow that actually was way faster than I thought so put a little soap on here get it nice and sudsy and then if you wanted to use degreaser for a tractor or or use a, a, a brush to really scrub the dirt off it wouldn't take anything to get that soap in there so So I'm going to shut this off again and end the review there. Thanks for watching and I hope you liked the video. If you found the video helpful please remember to thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this in the future. If you have any questions related to these products, you can leave a comment below and I will get back to you as soon as I can.